And let's go back out live to Lompoc, where KCOI 12 Central Coast News is back on the road tonight. Dave Alley there to show us a popular place in town, not only a favorite hangout for locals, but Dave, it's also drawing visitors from around the world. Uh, it certainly is, uh, and good evening to you, Melissa. Yes, Lompoc proudly calls itself the city of arts and flowers, but Lompoc may soon have to add on to its city slogan thanks to an emerging wine industry here that has helped create a very popular destination that is called the Wine Ghetto. Cheers. 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 It's a celebration of wine in the most unlikeliest of places. It's something different. It's unique. Uh, it's a collection of amazing producers in a small area. Uh, there's nothing quite like it. Don't be fooled by its outside appearance. The Lompoc Wine Ghetto is located in an unassuming industrial complex. What really matters is what's served inside. There are producers here that are they're hitting the getting rated as the top wines in the whole world. With a growing reputation, it's attracting wine enthusiasts from far beyond the Central Coast. We've been to Napa, we've been to uh, Sonoma, Paso Robles, but nothing's compared to this area as far as the concentration of high-end wine tasting that we've been to. Many time visitors will get to have direct face-to-face -face interaction with the winemaker themselves. It's one of the most popular draws here at the ghetto. You get a little bit more perspective as far as what happens, how they go through it, and how they make it, and the whole procedure of making the wine. There's always a backstory to something. Here you are, go ahead and try that. Created nearly 30 years ago with just a single winery, the ghetto is now continuously growing. We are able to rent, you know, very affordable uh, warehouse space to make our wines. And it, it has the cost of entry into the wine business lowers a lot. An important reason the ghetto now features more than two dozen tasting rooms. A lot of them come from the Santa Rita Hills here, which is amazing. Um, produces great Pinot Noirs and Chardonnay. This is also from Santa Rita Hills, single vineyard designate. Those wines are creating an identity for the Lompoc area, making it a destination while also boosting the local economy. It definitely is great for revenue, and it really helps everyone from tasting rooms to hotels, to local restaurants. Uh, we all embrace each other. We are a sense of community. With its low-key casual charm, Salud. this is the place to be. Cheers. Cheers. To enjoy a vintage wine experience. It's just uh, a hidden gem because you just come in with a hearty, I guess, taste bud and uh, a good open mind, and you'll come home with maybe a case of wine and some good memories. A quick correction, first winery actually arrived here uh, nearly 20 years ago. If you want to come out and experience it, uh, the tasting rooms are open Thursdays through Sundays. They open up around 11 a.m. to noon, close around 4 to 5. If you come out on the weekends, there's usually food trucks out. Makes for a very fun experience. If you love wine, it's worth a trip out here to Lompoc. You certainly will yeah. not be disappointed. It's great to hear that sense of community, everybody coming together, and they know if you like wine, you'll go to one place, and then you'll come to another. It's terrific.